each woman builds a legacy in her lifetime. It is composed of her family, friends, neighbors, co-workers, church, and her community. Her influence is great and should never be underestimated. Women are the fabric of society. We weave love, wisdom, strength, and a variety of contributions into every life we touch. While we each build a personal legacy, collectively, we build society's legacy. That's why the mission of today's woman has never been more relevant. Now, more than ever, women need to be better equipped with information on health care, career and financial opportunities, community services, programs, and more. These tools enable us to be our best physically, emotionally, and spiritually so we can effectively influence the lives around us. Join me as we look at the legacy of today's woman. Not a single story, but stories of women who dared to dream. Ten years ago, a few women from different backgrounds shared a common vision for the women of the high desert. And the day their paths crossed, today's woman was born. Mary Grove, an advertising account executive with the Daily Press, had an idea to host a conference for women focusing on health care issues. You see, for Mary, the subject of women's health care, particularly breast cancer, is more than a clinical discussion. She lost her mother, her aunt, and both her grandmothers to breast cancer. The idea of a conference soon became her passion and ultimately her mission, and so Mary began searching for a kindred spirit to bring the event to life. That was about the year 2000. Okay. Right. And so I talked to the newspaper a little bit about it, but we weren't really set up to do this kind of a program and I talked to Lisa Price who was with St. Mary Choice Medical Group and she thought it sounded like a really great idea and she had said that Anna had talked about doing an event too for the group and so a short time after that Lisa called me up and said you know that event that you talked to me about and told me what your vision was and I said yes she goes well Anna wants to do an event so let's get together and go over it so we went out to lunch, had a meeting, and I told her my vision, and we came up with Today's Woman, and that's kind of how it started. Anna Sugi was not only a kindred spirit, but a perfect partner and community leader to kick off Today's Woman. Anna's business is healthcare, and as the administrator for Choice Medical Group, she was in the perfect position to gain the needed support from the medical community. A high desert resident since 1982, Anna is a woman who cherishes her family, her faith, and her community. Her mother instilled in her a strong work ethic and great compassion for helping others. But it was her experience at an Avon Walk for Cancer Survivors that fueled her passion for the project that would become today's woman. I attended one of the uh, Avon Walkathon at UCLA and it was like an amazing event. I want to say there was like 30,000 people or more. Uh, just a huge event. And after the walk, there were lots of uh, vendors with information and uh, just the spirit and the atmosphere was really something that, it was an amazing um, event. So I thought that we should have the ability to provide lots of information to our women in the high desert and create a venue where they can come together and support one another, create uh, support groups, you know, we could expand services. So that's how it all started. And so today's woman moved from a vision to reality in October of 2000. The first Today's Woman Expo was held at the San Bernardino County Fairgrounds and was supported by eight sponsors. The following year's program was held just one month after the events of September 11. While this tragedy shook the nation and the high desert, hundreds of attendees embraced the event as a positive way to move forward. We were very concerned because of the mood of the whole country. It was kind of somber right then. So we didn't know if we'd have vendors that drop out or if people would show up. But sure enough, all the vendors showed up and we had so many people that showed up and it was like a relief and it was just great for them to all get together. The vendors could talk to one another and the attendees and it was just a happy event. And moving forward became the hallmark of the event as each subsequent year built on the success of the prior year. Today, the event is attended by over 2,500 women and Choice Medical Group continues its support as one of the foundation's primary sponsors. 
Soon they were joined by Victorville Motors, The Daily Press, Target, Walmart, Aetna, Victor Valley and Barstow Community Hospitals, Mitsubishi Cement, Charter Communications, and Time Warner, Y102, Ultra Star Cinema, Vons and Safeway Corporation, and the cities of Adelanto, Barstow, Hesperia, Victorville, and the town of Apple Valley. Throughout the past nine years, women of the high desert have embraced the event, hearing such notable speakers as Shane Eidelman and Elizabeth Pluard, Dr. Maria Quayle, former Assemblywoman Sharon Runner, and cancer survivors Ann Gillian, Suzanne Summers, and Diane Carroll. Vicki Lawrence and the late Dixie Carter have also graced the Today's Woman stage. In 2007, the organization launched two new programs that are leaving an indelible mark on the high desert. Honoring amazing women on Mother's Day seemed a natural outgrowth of the mission of Today's Woman. Since 2007, Today's Woman and the Daily Press have honored over 100 inspiring local women for their unselfish and exemplary service to their families and to our community. The year 2007 also marked the start of the Today's Woman Foundation Annual Award. This noteworthy program provides a financial award of $1,000 to courageous women who are experiencing serious medical challenges. Hesperia Christian School teacher Jen Uraro, the first recipient, was also the inspiration for the award. A Daily Press news article that featured her courageous battle with recurring cancer and the support of her Hesperia Christian School students caught the eye of the Today's Woman Board of Directors. Today's Woman has a, a uh, special recognition for somebody and they award a thousand dollar scholarship and one of the things that you know, the thousand dollars is great, but, but I'm always inspired by it, the, the stories that, that, that these folks will tell. The, um, they're going through some tough medical uh, procedures and, and, and they can have a grim outlook, but um, we recognize their, their ability to persevere that and also have a positive outlook and also um, and help them out monetarily. So that, that, that's just a great part of that event too. In 2009, Today's Woman teamed up with Margaret Diaz and A Better Way to provide a 17-week job career preparedness program. Now in its second season, the program, led by a volunteer panel of professional women and men who are experts in their respective fields, have provided training for over 60 women who receive the benefit of their experience through classroom programs and mock interview sessions. Each program of Today's Women provides health care education, financial and career assistance, and more importantly, hope for women. Perhaps one of the most rewarding aspects of Today's Women is the legacy it is building. Through its multiple efforts and the generosity of high desert businesses and individuals, Today's Women Foundation has partnered with the American Cancer Society and donated over $48,000 to support cancer patients in the high desert like Elaine Haslip. I know what our services mean to a cancer patient. And it's not because I am a cancer patient, it's because I have seen on people's faces, in their lives, how we have helped them. We can't change their lives, but we can help them. And I know that Reach to Recovery, our support groups, our pillows, are very, very welcome and needed. They're called a mastectomy pillow because when a woman has a mastectomy, they take out nodes under her arm and they put drains in and it's hard to sleep. And so as a volunteer, when I visit a lady or they open the box and they find their pillow, they put it under their arm and the universal response is, oh, that feels so good. Stories like these fuel the passion of today's Women Board of Directors who work tirelessly year round to ensure the success of each component of today's woman. It's the courageous smile of a woman battling cancer. It's the look of confidence when a survivor of domestic violence secures her first job or home. It's the sound of laughter of a room full of women who unite one day to better themselves to help others. That's their legacy, and we hope you choose today's woman as your legacy. While Anna and Mary and others partnered in a common vision, much of the organization's day-to-day -day work has been handed over to an equally passionate advocate for women, Regina Weatherspoon Bell. 
But the opportunity to work with an organization such as Today's Woman Foundation um, to really affect a whole community was just, it was just a wonderful. I, I couldn't have been invited to work with a better group at that time in my life. Women like Mary Grove, Anna Sugi, and Regina Weatherspoon Bell have stepped up to the call to enhance the physical, emotional, and spiritual health of high desert women. Do you hear the call? Do you want to become a part of this worthwhile legacy? Like a house in need of a solid foundation, perhaps you or your business can be a foundation sponsor. Are you a laborer? There are a number of events or special projects that need your help. Do you possess expertise that can be passed on to enhance the structure? There are many speaking engagements that need someone like you. And as each home is distinct, so is today's woman. And we welcome new partnerships and collaborations that add character to our house. Proverbs 14.1 reads, A wise woman builds her house. Will you help us continue to build the house of today's woman? Will you help us build the legacy?